there, sign of Virgo. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading. This will be for December 1st, 2020. Um, let's see here. We're going to start with the Oracle card and do a couple of those and then the Guardian Angel deck. So well, let's do let's do Guardian Angel deck first. And thank you big appreciation out to people that have subscribed and everybody that's thumbs up. I really do appreciate the support and I thank you. Let's get your angel, your angel of the day. Angel of music keeps coming out for everybody. Um, angel of music is like using music to manifest. It gets you in a higher state of vibration. And this card like reminds you to bring music back into your life. It also touches on people that write poetry and just in general helping you get back to your love of music and it is to change your vibration when you vibrate when you vibrate higher you um kind of remember to focus on the things that you desire and then surrender that and it helps you to see results quicker when you keep your vibration high so that's good so that's good so listen to some music i just got done listening to some music Love music always gets me in a good mood. All right. Angel of the Oracle. Oh, angel. Huh? Wisdom of the Oracle. Got angels on my mind. Seeing them all around. All right. Truth be told, I will have to look in the book for that. Virgo, what is going on with truth be told? Truth be told, that could be very literal. Or, or it means honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, and clarity of communication there is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and then there is a truth, a subjective according to the philosophy of the believer. It is not a time for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you're called to proclaim your truth out loud, willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication. I see a little bit of the throat chakra here. It's about that. It is a door that's or a window that's opening for you. It's usually how we connect, you know, in the old days and somebody died, they used to say, lift up a window so that the spirit can go out. And it's just interesting that that is what's on the card. So it's about speaking your truth, communicating um, clearly, honestly, with integrity, authenticity, being yourself. Virgo, Virgo. It's kind of like the serenity prayer to grant things, change things you can and accept things that you cannot. Okay, we have hostilities. Let me get another one. And healer of the ages. Whatever that means to you. Whatever religious um, or spiritual practice you have, it doesn't really matter to me which one it is. Um, there is something that Spirit is saying to call on them for because they see that there is about to be conflict, disagreements. Kind of getting the Five of Swords energy off of that. So call on your Spirit team to help you. All right, Virgo. Let's do Tarot. This will be a six-card Tarot spread. For our Virgos. Virgo, December 1st, 2020. Virgo, what do we have? Oh my goodness, wow. If that isn't more um, proclamation that you're going through a struggle right now, this is, and it's interesting, the hostilities card I view that as defending yourself and being ready. 
And then the Five of Swords, it looks like the people have thrown down their swords and they're walking away. So it's a little bit of surrender in this card. A little bit of surrender, which is what Spirit's asking you to do when they ask you to give over a situation to them. Stop worrying. And it's about a partnership. It's about a partnership with the Two of Cups. Um, yeah, we could be talking Gemini because it's like the lover's card. It's about a partner partnership. That it's going good. Um, that might be the challenge is that, that something is kind of rocky in a partnership right now. Hmm, business or romance. Advice from spirit. Nice. Okay, we have the king of wands, Virgo. So this is acting a little bit out of your element. But spirit's wanting you to take inspiration from the king of wands this is the man that sits on his throne with lots of pride because he is an entrepreneur. He's a builder. He's like the emperor. I mean, if you could rank it, I think there'd be king of wands and, and then emperor would be above because I, this, this king is all about action. Action, he knows what to do. Past way of dealing with things. Well, we have patience. We have the belief that you can make anything possible. Everything impossible, or everything possible was impossible at one time. That's what they say. So, Sagittarius, past influence or past way of dealing with things. And this kind of indicates um, an angelic presence or calling on your divine team to help you through a situation. And the person's very, very intuitive looks like an angel that's stepping half in half on the ground and half in the water and water is our emotions so in the past highly emotional issues that you had to have patience with um, it's not easy to temper metal but nonetheless it can be done and it can be done in a balanced way we have the magician Virgo so this is your future energy your future way of acting in this situation you're going to manifest what you want to manifest and that's just great that's what you need to focus on you need to focus on what you want to have manifested you have all the supplies you need at home you have everything you just need you know your belief in yourself and you can call on your spirit team for help look Virgo We've got strength, the card of Leo. This is the card of really persisting through a challenge. It, it might be something really long and drawn out, but, but there is progress. The progress is dependent on you, your determination and your perseverance. And that wonderful, wonderful courage that you have to face whatever this is going on. Virgo, tea leaves. Let's do your tea leaves and then we'll wrap up this reading. I'm not getting the one on the floor. <laughs> All right. We have four leaf clover. Great or good fortune. Nice. And that's on the magician. Basket recognition or reward for merit. That's that strength card, that courage, reward for merit. Dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. I almost have remembrance in my head. That, that came up in my head too. And the month of June and there is a little angel on the card. And that's just lovely and that's for somebody. So thank you, Virgo. Thanks for spending time with me. Sending much love and light your way.